Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Ibrahim. April 18th, 2024. Today, now April 18th, 2024. You see, salon people, um, I don't tell when I say, you know, like, uh, we, not for the guy again for can't talk nothing. For just sit on them now where they watch the play and uh, see how all things they go. You know, because we saw this coming. You know, the fact that uh, since 2018, when the SLPP came to power, we see how the people like the Alpha Khan, they get mind for begin cross the carpet. How this man no go cross carpet? So first of all, Alpha Khan is not a credible individual when it comes to Sierra Leone politics. Alpha Khan them that they play on the intelligence of Sierra Leoneans. God bless them small, you know, out of them poverty streak in life, grown a village where bus crosses, you know, till they grow up, people for go get go school, get some education, and then they say, you know, it's in. Instead of we use our education for can improve the lives of we people, them, no can destroy the lives of we people. Them. So Alpha can go see on the TV, they talk all the garbage and nonsense where they talk about the tripartite committee, you no know, get power for the call for a rerun elections and this and that. It is the talking point of the Kelfala Maras and all the APC people with the inside the tripartite committee. Now, what they don't discuss and don't talk about. But we know, say, who say we don't squeeze them, so we got them to the balls. What well, I'm telling them, say that two things we want from the Trapatite Committee. So then, no, now say the people of Sierra Leone, they expect one of the two things there. One of the two. Either can give you the results of the June 24th, 2023 elections, or if the results never for come out, then they come and call for a rerun elections. They're not saying that one per then two things and they salon people they expect from the Trapatite. So you see, they don't begin to come out, they can't play this filthy game. But what are they come out? Alpha Khan, the most you know, non-credible individual you can ever think about when it comes to Sierra Leone politics. Now, the man then this way, the kind of a crime so they don't commit, not only against a political system that I country, but when you look at even the preservation of a natural habitat, and the man will come out and go build the big, big mansion closer to the Guma Valley, you know, there has been no consequence for his action from the President Kuruma government to the SLPP government. So what do I expect from people like the Alpha Khan? What he's doing now for protecting loot, the guy they don't tiff they, all they do now is protection of their loot. So if I can't get yes, get, get right for can't talk back, take back, what take back. The nonsense they talk about, you know, um, uh, all the foolishness where they talk about uh, the Supreme Court no more, nah, you know, this and that. Because now uh, the game where they don't play for, for set up the Supreme Court. Like how uh, uh, Augustine Sengbeg Mara, we catch box to talk about a message yesterday, of course, we all see Sengbeg Mara. Augustine Sengbeg Mara, where they contest so for chair, for presidency of the Sierra Leone Bar Association. A carry case go court. Who side the case reach? No side. That was what we don't plan. It was all part of the playbook. Just like when we planned the PR system. They said, okay, I go court. When I swear they announce all, put in a newspaper, you know, make publication, a press release, you know, for so the international world go see. Oh, Sierra Leone's democracy, look at them. They are taking the matter to the court. It was all a game. They we already don't pass the PR system because Cherry Coco and the APC as a whole. They yeah, don't see so we don't get them by them balls again. We don't hold them at their throat. We don't tell them that we the pick what I get for go inside parliament. They see the willingness of the community, the people of Sierra Leone, be not ready for say, Una, we don't want to know again this parliamentarians them. So they connive with the government. The people be not ready say that we the pick what we want for go represent with a parliament. So Cherry Coco and the APC and the Anescorobas and all of these people, they all connive against the people of Sierra Leone. What did they do? They hold the PR system. Una go file the case. Abu Kagbo, Ewa Oda Lady, JFK, JFK, I don't know if he's part of the play, but he knows certainly as a good lawyer with Dr. Abdullah Conte, they defended and made it very clear. Ebo, the PR system, it was very clear in 2002 or 1996. Say, we had areas where we'd not be able to reach. That was why we did the proportional representation system because now James John and I even recommend that they say, hey, in my experience being in the United Nations, I don't travel across the world as here. You can do certain side way conflicts they won't able to go. We can use a proportional representation system. Now did the PR system come? And nobody in the constitution. But after the fact, they ratified the constitution for other and day just so that. Hey, Bo, Sierra Leone Day, we get peace time. We don't get no part of the country we possibly able for access. No sign of the Sierra Leone. We will go say about we get a rebel faction. We don't take over that area day. So the government able for go there for go organize uh, you know censors uh, or, 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 or go uh, organize a boundary delimitation because we don't be the censors. Censors that next year now we'll forget the next censors. Boundary delimitation. Nowhere. But even then they say we know so we boundaries them get a lifespan of five to seven years. The last time we did a boundary delimitation was 2017. So it means that we boundary then good 
2017 or 2019, we had boundary limit, limit, delimitation. So the next set of uh, 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 tell for new boundary delimitation again, where we boundaries and they expire, is 2024. This year, and then for expire 2024, five to seven years. Now they take. So from 2017, yes, we we'll get them boundary the day. Five years from 2017, now waiting. Not to 2022. Then five to seven, you put two more years in the five days, not to 2024. So boundary delimitation. Now take 2024 because we boundary them, they still the lifespan day. We never need no new constituency for all the elections. All than the, the APC connive because they know say the people they can't take their power back. So they say, oh, do a PR system. So Alpha can get right for casting the talk about good nonsense. But we know say it is clear that we have enough laws. Laws is not a problem in Sierra Leone. But who Alpha can really listen to? Alpha can not credible. So everything we can say has no credibility to it. There is no amount of credibility. When we look at the, 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 the Constitution, Section 32, Subsection 11, we make it very clear about the Electoral Commissioner. Therefore, be subject to any direction or control of any person or authority in exercising his functions. When I remember that, you go, na 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 America, we can America, they can talk that that the nonsense interview we give, where they challenge the American government for say, "Able look America," where they can tell we, they tell me say, "Me for tell the electoral commission and announce the result," because the elections was fraudulent. We don't get result, and we shall not accept it. And I would tell people like uh, 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 you know Alpha Khan, Alpha Khan. I go, you don't know how to go so. Not to me, not God, not to really decide how much he has to leave. But my own great granny, I pass so. May her soul rest in peace yesterday. She lived for over 95 years. My great granny, my mama, my mama, their life, they pass away. May God bless her. May God bless her soul. He live in country life, he live in upline life satisfactorily. They say, can't talk. He say, no, you don't want to. She lived a life from the bomb area, that day, day. Go on, take a TD. It don't go. So don't tell me they decide how possible they live, how long possible they go live. But we know, say, statistically, looking at your age, what you did, so you got certain comorbidities. You say you take high blood pressure medication. You, you they say diabetic. Who knows? You, you, you own something. So anytime you can die, you don't care. But when I don't say when I sow a seed for a generation, say, and born, when I great, great grand and they get for can suffer the consequences of an action, Alpha Khan, people like you, what you doing? What you want to do to with democracy in Sierra Leone? Alpha Khan, just because you're protecting a house where the house already fall apart. I don't think so. You even get money for maintenance that house there because we don't get the culture of maintenance in Sierra Leone. The house is to fall apart. You go build big, big mansion, thief had money or whatever, you thief mines money or whatever outside you be there on a thief. So you protect yourself. So not say you're not credible, Alpha Khan, you have no credibility. You have no credibility. There's nothing you can say there again. Those days are over. All that the feel so savvy for can sweet people a lot. We all savvy talk, we savvy talk pass on ourselves. So if I can, when you look at the Constitution section, that is to make it very clear. Mohamed can now wake up and gets no reason for announcing election results. We are already full 55%. New, they all come and talk. When I be one can we go to court so that we will go rig the plane court. Then the courts go decide. Then I say, hey, the courts don't decide. The election was free and fair. We don't say the judiciary. Of course, the European Union don't make it very clear. For say, they don't trust. The people don't trust these institutions. And we we'll never, we we'll never ever trust these institutions in Sierra Leone. Now make with democracy not they grow. Now make with democracy not they advance. So these are the things we're dealing with. So Alpha Khan, you're not credible. So no matter what you say, it's not going to stick. This time the people longer sense. APC people, Sierra Leoneans, no say the June 24th, 2023 elections. We're not getting results, and we are waiting to have the results of that election. And until we get the elections of that result, uh, uh, the, the results of that election, the elections are not yet over. Until we get the results of that election, the elections are not yet over. We will not get no election date for 2028. We want to results. Ken Falamara today, and I challenge you now, and all other APC people, Una APC supporters there. I will tell you initially, I say this, now for call Una Art. Now may they make this trapatite committee. So today, Lord challenge Ken Falamara now. Waiting in position. All day for we begin, why is he begin use the word say, we are not preempt we, we are not preempt we. Now I'm not saying a criminal life. These guys are nothing but criminals. These guys are nothing but sycophants. These guys are nothing but vagabonds. These guys are no seluna. They were not a better mortal man them. Because under those circumstances, what you can tell us they preempt. The way they tell us they listen to social media. And if it's even your supporters there, where they support on social media, because they listen to them. Because if possible they listen to social media, and they listen to even one other supporter. But they get for fetch for them. And they get all back from them because the cycle continues in Sierra Leone. That is Africa for us. 
So Kelfala Mara, Usa, you day. What's in your position? Today you have to tell Sierra Leone and them, APC people who now hold these guys accountable. What's it make it fussy for use the word so they're not preempt we? Now because now they use for cover up. We don't tell you we have aspirations. As Sierra Leoneans, what we want, not to boku. We say when we go vote as a people, when we go vote, we for make sure say we results, we elections, we vote them are protected. And we not get a government, we don't get the mandate of the people. Section 5, subsection 2 makes it very clear that sovereignty belongs to the people. Through this constitution, the government derives its legitimacy, its authority, and its power from the people. So Kelfala Mara, now you know represent the Trapatite Committee and every one of you now inside it, Petito Kurumas, everybody. In a serious democracy now, the people left salon and the NPC supporters they can't challenge you and say, for come out now and I can't challenge Alpha Khan. Because until he said, no, not preempt. But you know, can I don't can tell we exactly what he said, the Trapatite Committee not go do. The, uh, uh, Alpha Khan, tell we say the Trapatite Committee not go for call for rerun election. He said the Trapatite just, just go for looking to 2007, 2018, 2012, 2023 election. <laughs> so Alpha Khan don't can preempt the outcomes of the Trapatite Committee. And that was not the plan. Salon people let no say. The Trapatite was set up to look into the elections, all the terrible things that happened. So there has to be an investigation for call for the results of the June 24th elections. Therefore, if the results of the June 24th elections are not produced, the Trapatite committee gets a responsibility for ask for a rerun of that election day. Because that is what the committee is set up for. It is a very powerful committee. It is not a statutory committee because it was not set up by parliament. However, we have laws already, the constitution and everything. Go to section 42. Subsection 2, E and F of the Constitution of Sierra Leone. When I show we how presidential elections them get for be organized, it emphasized the importance of a candidate securing not less than 50% of a valid vote or proceeding to a second election within 14 days. If we don't get 55% from the first round of the election, we were going to a rerun election within 14 days. Masala Samba knew. Then get a PRVT or PRT, which are the program. We're backed up by the European Union. They make it very clear for saying nobody knows got 55% at the first rounds. So again, going back to the constitution alone in itself, it has been violated. It is treasonous. Go to section 108 of the constitution. Subsection 8. Any violation of this constitution is treasonous. Alpha Khan, you committed treason. But we're not going to prosecute you at this point. Nobody will prosecute you. Because we've seen it all over the years. You belong to the SLPP, you will not be prosecuted for nothing. So section 42 make it very clear. And we know say nobody knows score 55%. So that's a lot in itself. Don't tell we say we're supposed to forget the rerun elections. The Trapatite Committee, they stand on the statutes of the constitution now. The Trapatite Committee get the right for say we refer to the constitution, go to section 42. We make it very clear for say. The only time we declare we now for the election, now we get 55% in the first rounds. And we know, say, in June 24th, 2023, let us show we who say Mara Bio with all the data. Can fellow Mara show we the data, data for data, how they score 55% when they declare Mara Bio as president of Sierra Leone? Can fellow Mara, that is the challenge I throw to you. So Alpha Khan don't come now, it don't tell we, it don't preempt. So can fellow Mara, since Alpha Khan don't break the rule, it don't come preempt. We are asking you now, Sierra Leoneans are asking you now for come out there and come make it very clear if you're not a criminal, if you're not a thief, if you're not a violator of democracy, if you're not part of the people, people that will not destroy democracy. Because you guys, your names are going to go down as terrible as you are already. When I sit down, then destroy democracy in our country. Today. When I allow Marabio for destroy democracy in our country. Today. We see a first hand. Kelfala Mara, you will know where to be found. When democracy was being bastardized. So we ask you now, the challenge you now, Kelfala Mara, Alpha Cannon can preempt the outcomes of the Trapatite. It don't tell we point blank to what we face, so we already get a rerun election. Alpha Cannon tell we say the Trapatite don't get for able for give you the results of the June 24th elections. So you can now, Kelfala Mara, can't tell we now, because we don't expect anything less than either you give you the results where they show say that APC win the elections, 
or you come and call for a rerun elections going off of the constitution i'm teaching you the constitution now section 42 makes it very clear section 42 makes it very clear say yes we forget 55 percent of the vote the european union is there they no say we don't get 55 percent of the vote but i'll left the constitution now go back to the public public election act we want to ratify for rogue the elections. We make APC not be able to forget, uh, 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 you know, a polling agents them now every polling center. Now go back to the, 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 the Public Elections Act for you, Alpha Khan and Kelfala Mara. Section 51, 52, and 93 of the Public Election Law, Public Election Act. It make it very clear, 2002. You look at Section 51, it says, presiding officers to certify and transmit election results promptly. While Section 52 tasks the national returning officers with issuing certificates of election and publishing the results in the Gazette and other suitable platforms. Where is the result? Alpha Khan, Kelfala Mara, Petito, we are already inside the Trapatite Committee, American Ambassador, Una all, everybody, the international partners, all of you guys that are in the Trump Assets Committee, un, una show we, where is the election results? Who's not publisher? Go to the, to the ECSL website. It is not there. We want the results of June 24, 2023. We want that results. Eh? What you guys are doing to Sierra Leone is so in the seed for conflict in that nation. Because I know there might be another Fori Sanko. I know there might be another Ali Kaba that is going to stand up to this unrighteousness and say, no way, we're not going to tolerate this. Ambassador Hunt, I'm speaking to you. In the United States, till this day, we're still fighting to protect democracy. We saw what Congress members did, the Republicans did, to have fake certifiers of the elections. Those people are being prosecuted today. America has its results. Democracy is thriving still. Those that, 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 that led the, 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 the riot, the insurrection on, on January 6th, they are being prosecuted. Thousands of them, hundreds are in jail today. We're not going to sit back and allow the June 24th election be thrown into the garbage like it's nothing. No, the people matter. The people own Sierra Leone. Sovereignty belongs to Sierra Leoneans. And when they vote, their vote should count, regardless of their, their status in society. Regardless of their status in society. The Constitution protects Sierra Leoneans. We have laws. We don't have, we're not lacking laws. So the Trumpetized Committee, Kelfala Mara say enough for preempt. When a lie, I challenge you now, Kelfala Mara. You APC people, today, this is what we're going to talk about. APC, we're going to have to get for lead a jihad. We cannot tolerate this kind of a thing where they happen. So, we look Senegal, we look Liberia. These guys, they're all the old successful elections. Them. The people, they don't pick the president they already want. Now, we're going to sit down, we're allow the APC, we're going political party, they connive against una for rig elections in that country. We cannot let this happen. Alpha Khan don't can preempt the outcomes of the June 24th. It don't can preempt the outcomes of the Trapatite Committee. Kelfala Mara, now you should challenge Alpha Khan and tell him for say, uh uh, the Trapatite Committee will they look into the results for make sure so we secure the results and announce them to people of Sierra Leone. Or if we're not giving the results, we they call for a rerun election. That is what the Trapatite Committee was set up to look into. Una water, una water, una una ship out, una ship out. Sierra Leoneans are expectant and they no say, we're not going to go vote, we're not going to be results. Under those circumstances. And they make this very plain and clear. And they make this complicated for now. And then you look at section 93 of the Public Elections Act. Now you specify the timeline for publishing election results after their declaration. Ebo, we're not getting disaggregated data day. Now you're not the run for Komot. For God declare Mara be your president. Mara can now wake on it. And then we know say it not get 55%. And the constitution in section 42 makes it very clear. For say now, forty-two for, in section forty-two make a clear say fifty-five percent of the votes that you forget for then declare you a winner. Ona show we how Mara you get fifty-five percent of the vote. Ona show we polling station for polling station. Ona show we the results. They can tell everybody Supreme Court that the only courts because we don't plan the game and the game has been rigged. We don't allow una. Yes, APC should have gone to court. They can still throw away and do. But the Trapatite Committee is way better than the court because we don't trust the judiciary system. Because they're going to go to any case now. They're going to say, we're not follow protocol. We're not for put a press release out. We're going to announce to the world, hey, Sierra Leone is holding, you know, the judiciary, the, 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 the justices of the peace, of the, of, the, of, the, of the Supreme Court are holding a special hearing 
to look into the outcomes of the results on a blindfold we no that did not work so the trapezoid committee is sitting on our throat they don't burn on our throat they're like a bundle sit on our throat now so that the federal can wait for wiggle on our way out when i go bring alpha khan we're not a credible individual who's a criminal who's a thief alpha khan is a miscreant in society a total abuse a total misuse thief man them alpha cannot get a credibility they don't destroy we country in democracy. They don't sow seed for the generation yet unborn. We are not picking them. We are ask them picking them. Alpha Khan, I believe they get picking them. We are ask them. So we are sitting on a papa in the poor we country. The great and grand picking. We are ask them. We are sabi them. We are sitting in the poor we country. Just because you want to protect your sway, don't thief we build. Big, big mansion. What you do to mansion? Where all we need in this life is one bedroom. You go outside, you can make it eat. eat. They go on small side, you sit down, you sit down, you keep company. You go back, you go sleep. They're useless idiots there for their foolish and sick and greedy desires. What you they do? They destroy with democracy every day. And if I can, they go sit down, they go talk all that nonsense and garbage and gibberish where you go to talk. Well, the good thing for we is it don't come preempt the outcomes of the Trapezoid Committee. Therefore, una APC people are get the responsibility for call Kelfala Barra now say, hey, Alpha can not tell you for say, you're not going to give you the result, you're not going to call for a real election. Who say you day? Now, so the guy with the interview, the Kelfala Barra, the guy the time for tell us, say, hey, the salon people, and they make them very clear for say, what do they want? Now, the outcomes of the results, now, the outcomes of the elections. They want the results, or they call for a real elections. They say, hey, let the guy not preempt them. Let the guy not make like talk to some teachers, no way to my day and say, bye bye, we don't talk so. I, you are a criminal, Kelfala. We are not criminal, bo. We sabi pasuna. We don't sit through una. We are intelligent enough. Now make sure we don't tell salon people from the get go. I say the trapezoid is bullshit. It's waste of time. They didn't use them for calling art. So until you come out, Kelfala, and make sure it very clear to the people. Salon people know what you're What happened in 2007? They know what you're What happened in 2012? Salon people, what do they care about? Now what happened in June 24, 2023 elections? So when I went in the APC, when they waste a time there for I explain 2007, 2012, when I shut up at all. What is a lot of people care about is 2023 election, June 24. Go preach that. Nine days I day. The results, they want them. They don't say Manabio for go. They don't want Manabio again. They don't say they go vote their heart out. They suffer the people them. They don't make them register. They suffer them. I can't they talk all about eh, hey, all the people on the dance for that. They don't even vote for that because they don't register. Because they do it deliberately, they don't register the people there. They suffer them. But the people still turned out and vote. And that vote when they vote. So God at this day, we foresee the result, polling station for polling station. The data should be disaggregated to this granular level. We foresee them. Penny for penny, we foresee them. Everything, we should see it. That is a fact. And that is what the Trapezoid Committee, now we expect from the Trapezoid Committee, we can't give you a we can't give you gibberish, but good nonsense. See the people looking for it. It's simple, straightforward. When I ask El Falamara, let it come out now. Let can tell you exactly where. Where? Usa in stand. Alpha can can tell you that the SLPP in your view. And when I read SLPP people, then they talk. Ah, but don't read on the Yeah, that's really happening. Well, APC people, the rest of Sierra Leoneans, them, we believe in democracy because this is just about APC SLPP. We don't get a lot of people away, stay neutral. This neutrality, they don't kill Sierra Leone. People in the stand aloof. Nobody don't care. When they complain, say Pepe dia, Magi dia, Petrol dia, Altin dia. They stand aloof. You're just watching. You're not taking action. Nobody is calling. Nobody is challenging. You might not have voted for SLPP. You might not have voted for APC. You, heck, you don't even get a political party. But it's a democracy at the end of the day. If we don't stand up, sober-headed people and not stand up for defend democracy, then we're going to have hooligans. Hooligans running the state. And that is what we have today. And when I see what it's like, we get hooligan them. People don't respect the dictates and tenets of democracy. You see what we have in? We have a society that is riddled with drugs. Because the people that for care for them, people there not care about them. All they care about is themselves. What the Alpha can't care about? He care about that because they take the dogs now. What he care about now for protecting us? We go build near Guma Valley. Damage with preservation. 
damage with natural habitat. That is all they care about. So I ask you again, every civilian, Kelfala Mara is the chairman of the uh, APC, where, where they represent APC. Let Kelfala Mara come out now and can tell we say everything that we, we, we Alpha can don't come and, and preempt, not correct. Now, let Kelfala Mara can tell we now say them not the APC. They're going to look into everything, including the fact that they want the results. If they don't get the results, then they call for a rerun elections. Let Kelfala Mara can make it clear. Alpha can don't tell we now so they get no rerun elections. APC people now. Are you a supporter of Kelfala Bara? You're a supporter? Well, go ask her for we now. Say we support you. But can't tell we bar. Say, Alpha Khan, what you talk a lie. You got a responsibility now. If you support somebody, because you know, say Kelfala Bara are not fit for purpose. They are all not fit for nothing. They're not fit for being leaders that are nation day. They are all criminals and thieves. They got to suffer for democracy. President Kuruma just can't, 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 they are beneficiaries of the system. They just can't benefit under the APC. They don't suffer. So they don't know what it's like. They don't understand the values of democracy. They just can't benefit. I go guarantee when I say today, Kelfala Mara is worth whatever is worth, whatever the gentry will get. 95% of them are from APC. That's Salon and Tiff, the money. Salon money and Tiff. Bo, Kelfala Mara, the only man with the COI, they not charge her. Bo, then he called President Kuruma, they all, yeah, but Kelfala Mara, they not charge her. The man will be there in charge. They tell them, Bill Rukel Commercial Bank. He no get case. The man don't sell to Mara, be a lot of them. It's sticking both there. The whole time they're destroying democracy, could not stand up to defend democracy in Sierra Leone. And even for talk penny, not even for talk one word. They got up for challenge Mara Bio one day, the non. They need for challenge Mara Bio one day, one on one, for take Mara Bio up. They call it take Mara Bio one on one and take a name. Able, they're not able for challenge Mara Bio with everything will happen. Going back to 1992 when Mara Bio kind of overthrow the APC party, overthrow Momo, put Momo in exile. They got up for challenge Mara Bio one day on those premises. One day they don't know him for challenge Mara Bio for talking to publicly. They're not Chris, they're not born there well. Kelfala Mara, they are nothing but freaking cowards. These guys, they don't get no balls underneath them. All they sabi are for plots for people, for damaged people. That is all they sabi. But when it comes to facing people face to face, like the Marabio, they don't sell to Marabio a long time ago. They don't give a crap. Ebo, they don't for challenge Marabio. President Joseph Saidu Bomo, Nangi we law school, Nangi we commerce. Now he change the constitution. What they used today the 1991 constitution. Now Momo, now in Giwiam, after Albert Magai, poor democracy in Sierra Leone. We allow Shaka Stevens for coming with a one party state system where the SNPP they benefit from. Kelfala Mara, they don't know all the history there. They don't know all the history there. Ali Kaba, they go to the Mataba, go meet with Gaddafi, they go set up the, the, the rebel war. Ali Kaba, and tell the rebel war. Charles Taylor talk them very clearly. Now the ICC court, they say, you know why Ali Kabara the Kadaya? In Ali Kabara in Sabi, you know why they Sabi for the Sanko? Kelfala Mara, they for challenge all of this. What do you do? Because they didn't read the history of Sierra Leone. And they didn't read themselves. They just don't have the balls to come and attack these people. SLPP is the weakest political party in African politics. Across Africa, SLPP are the weakest. They don't get nothing for stand on. Because when you look at the history of SLPP, everything went on disastrous in Sierra Leone. Everything went poor in Sierra Leone democracy in SLPP. The first coup, who are they inside it? The SLPP people, eh? Brigadier Lansana in Galoman, SLPP. The first coup, military coup in Sierra Leone, the SLPP leader. Nothing no good by SLPP. The only thing about it all, the SLPP, they're going to start the rebel war. We don't know what they are. They throw them on the exile. That's why they're not going to go to the Scrovac in the exile. You hear the people who are ever mentioned. When I ever hear Minkalu Mansari, they stand up for defend from former President Kroma. But President Kroma, I'm pretty big, and I'm pretty, and I saw you later on. They go look for people, and because all the people that will suffer with them, they kick them out. They go cow the one that will face again for control. Well, that is what you get. They don't sell her now. Because they are cowards. They are cowards. They are cowards. They are all cowards. What do you expect from Malik that in the way don't carry, don't can't chop something? You get in 10, 20 million dollars in bank account, don't can't chop up. What do you expect? You expect Malik Daddy for can challenge again? It's not a challenge. You don't get your wealth done. You don't gently done. What do you want? Get big ghosts in London. 
wealth than they did, picking and they did, picking and they live good life. When the average child, you know, they suffer, when they punish. So, this is the thing what they say regarding for challenge, Madabio. 1996 back, Abbas Bundu book, he writes a day. Madabio don't be want, Madabio don't be want elections. They say peace be, before elections. Where people in Tawa, now he authorized, Madabio, they authorize such of them, he authorized such of them. They begin to go around, they shoot, 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 shoot for scared people. Eh? But people were so determined. The Zaira Bangura, they all, where they all keep quiet. They were all determined. The Temu Bangura, they all. Where we stand up for democracy. They stand up for democracy. We know all the story there. The big Temu Bangura, they want killer. Our papa, they stand up for the one and they all, the save him. But these are the things we want to say. Tell Father Maran, they know all the story here. If they know all the story here, they for stand up for protect democracy in that nation. They don't take the people of Sierra for granted. A country will not fight a brutal rebel war. Cut the woman and belay, cut people there, cut their hand, cut their foot. Please, the woman and belay open. They are giving a boy picking a girl picking. Can follow my and don't see all that. They are all that in there. Who's that every day? They say they didn't run and they do their PhD. We present Kuruma go England and go into this and say this guy don't work in a commonwealth. President Kuruma call it. Say, yeah, commonwealth. They run, they bring the orca. They say they can't make the staunch man there. If you say go worship her, they look at the 90 in exile, so away from your home. Away from your home, President Kuruma, you are away from your home. You are away from home, President Kuruma. Exile now. What are they doing? I didn't guide there. I didn't guide there, I didn't do it. They don't stand up with you. You feel so they go protect you. Now listen to some song now. <laughs> Should I for safe we country? Cause we still with the brain line go talk the country. If we let the land and pull it we will never hungry and one be yeah. And just be see for the so bad seed for the fight. Right there, guys. Right there. You've been exiled. Ebo, Marabio succeed for exile two APC leaders. Marabio succeeded. Marabio exile Momo. Marabio exile Alex Kuruma back. Now make Marabio to make it very clear. He says I'll be deal with APC. I don't believe now. It's nice I'll be deal with APC. I did listen to one intelligent brother this morning when I message where he talk about that. Marabio says I'll be deal with APC and he don't show it clearly, he don't manifest now. For Sina I'll be deal with APC. This APC is the most useless political party right now across Africa. We see Sonko there. We see Basiru Fai. We see all the guys there who didn't stand up for protect democracy in the country. There. We see that Congress guy. Na, 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 Liberia. That guy stand up. He say, ready for Opongwea. Yeah? He ready for Opongwea. Yeah? He say, Opongwea, yeah? he ready. He ready for Opongwea. Yeah? When I listen to her. Get straight in the fuck of that blood. And I will beat your guy and all his girlfriends. Well, I, just, I, can show I just hear you talking about you. I said, can show you. I hear you talking about I can about show you the name you can call that will defeat the criminal affairs that George we are. I hear you talking and about the arresting the president. Why would you want to arrest the president? If you use gun, if you use gun on the left, I will use gun to arrest him. 
Yes. This is Koloba. This is Koloba of Liberia. A challenge upon where we see how the Liberia results end. We see how the Liberia elections end. Upon where is gone. Because the opposition stand up. Can follow my the trapezoid committee. It's simple. Now two things we ask for. One of the two. Give me the results of the June 24th elections. Or you call for a rerun election if they cannot produce the results. We are asking for much. Una listen to Koloba. Una listen to Koloba where the elections are gone. And for peace, it will be no peace. We will not entertain, we will not, 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 not accept any peace. Let me, I'm calling on the point of opposition to get ready. It's about time we're getting ready to move. We are going to move our blood, our sweat, with everything, with our strength. If it is a threat, then fuck whosoever think it be a threat. Thank you and God. All right, so now watch opposition leader. We see your swing ready for can take power. On our watcher, on our watch opposition leader. We see your swing ready. See the take power in Liberia. I don't know if any we know, but on our watch, see your opposition leader. On like wait, on go land. But anyway, okay, on our watch. <laughs> Thank you for. Of course, this is the ten way. The elections was about the corner. When I read the analysis, where I put the gist now, because we now we now know say Liberia they don't win the elections. Open where it's gone. We now know that. But now listen, on our listen. Coming, this is the gentleman of the press. This press conference is not to appreciate my people. No, it's about serious matter. We are getting information that the CDC want to get out to start celebrating. <laughs> so we are getting credible information that the CDC want to come out and start celebrating with the fake uh, uh, uh she they got. We are calling all our people from the opposition as soon as they come out. I'm calling everybody, all my supporters that came into this district. Today, I'm not going to tell you, thank you. Today, that's serious matter. If you can represent the judge, we are president of the country, is no more. There will be no good Liberia. Liberia will be going back in the hole. We are calling, I'm calling all, all my supporters that believe in me, that trust me. When they get in the street, I'm calling all of you to assemble here to my place. I started facing my truck so we can start celebrating. We are not going to wait for international community. We are calling on them to tell them that when they get in the street, we'll get in the street. Let me tell all of you people that took, the, took that day, October 10th, to go forward back in the morning to go and vote. It's about time for all to protect that damn fucking vote. We can't protect it. We can't protect it. These damn bitches have decided to get in the street for celebration. Uno Gua was stopping from getting in the street for celebration for the opposition. We are calling on all the members of the opposition. By the time they get in the street, and some of my place will get in the street. We're not waiting for anything. We will start celebrating our victory. George, we have been defeated. George, we have been defeated. George, we have been massively defeated. And we're not going to entertain anything for them to get in the street. We will not start fights. When they get in the street, we'll get in the street. What's supposed to happen will happen. What's supposed to be will be. The Liberian people have spoken. Let the Liberian people will, let the will of the people be done. Let the will of the people be respected. The constitution says the power is in heaven in the people. And the people have spoken. Judge, we are, I tell you, your people, you former president, I tell you and your people to get in the street. We will get in the street with our blood, with our sweat, with everything we'll get in the street with him. Challenge your and see. Tell your people to get in the street. If you are taking coups, I have taken enough. If you are taking spark, I have taken enough. If they are drank open your air not, we have drank enough. Enough is enough. Try it. This is a warning to you, George William, Mr. Former President. This is a warning to you. And if you think it's a threat, then yes, it's a damn fucking butthole threat to you. Tell your people to get in the street, then they get me all your getting your fake number to come out. We will come out. Anything that's supposed to happen will happen. 
The way you will not suppress the Lebrepo again for another six years. I want to say fuck you. And to all the opposition. I'm not breaking out. I say I'm going to bring your asses so we can get in the street. You're going in the street four o'clock in the morning because you want change. The poor are getting ready to, 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 to confuse the change. The poor are getting ready to bring their own change to impose themselves on you people. If you are begging you people, you will come. I didn't beg for the vote for me. I have done well for the Liberian people. Anytime I need vote, you will give me vote. I will not beg you, you will do it by force. And I'm calling all you for the side that you're ready. Start wearing and um, looking for your boots and wet slingers to wear. Your jeans, that's what we want. No other person here. We will move, we will move, we will move, and we will move to make sure that the dictator, the animal, the embarrassment, the disgrace, the market, leave this country through the ballot bag. Through the ballot bags. If you want to leave the country by another means, we will give you that means. We have the ability to give you that means. Let me tell you, you think you get ability to do what? We get the ability to give you that means. If it is a threat here, Joe, it's a fucking threat to your damn fucking bastard ass. Let me say thank you and God bless everybody. I'll take someone question. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, you know, if I'm if I'm a li I'm sure Liberians are proud of this guy, man. This was called by the talk at the time when the elections don't done, done when they want for begin play hanky panky upon where people want to come on a street a stand up for defend democracy where would they tell you salon people they would tell you today can fella mara i'm telling you you guys will not allow una we not a big guna we not a big guna can fella mara we not a big guna we tell you what we want you say you listen to social media we they tell you exactly what we want at this particular point in time and what we want is our election results for june 24 or else give us a rerun elections that is what the trap attacks committee was set up for and that is what the people of selling are expecting we will not relent we will not sit back we need to take this lead on we need to take this lead on under no circumstances you guys can sell what you've sold when i can do whatever you want to do but the salon people will say we're not going to tolerate this we already accept this this is not going to be accepted the power is inherent in the people and the people of sierra leone went out to vote and the people went out to vote and the vote of the people will be restored in sierra leone all we want a proper democracy all we want to see is to see how nations like the united states the united kingdom and all these other countries that are moving, that are progressing. How did democracy flourish? How did democracy grow? It was because people stood up and stand up for those democracies. They protect the rights of the people. They protected the integrity of the democracy. Now they make delicate today. They're all, they're there. Outside and they outside and they so delicate today. They get electricity. They get clean drinking water. They get good roads. They get a hospital. Left. They get everything that they need. But this way, we continue 60 years. We have nothing to show after independence. No. Well, some of us are going to stand up for democracy and we're going to protect democracy. We will not forget the players. Kelfala Mara and others, we will not, we will not forget Tuna. The world is a small village. Nobody named for hide now. So Kelfala Mara, APC supporters are the challenge you now. You don't support Kelfala Mara, you don't support them, whatever the case is. When I go tell Kelfala Mara, say, Alpha can don't can preempt. And don't can tell we the outcomes of the Trapatite Committee. We let Kelfala Mara can we can tell we in a lie, Alpha can they lie. Then the Trapatite Committee go give you the results of the June 24 elections. Of the results not the, they will call for a rerun elections. I left for there. Bye bye everybody.